Just as you don't create your own decal materials, you also don't create your own trim sheet materials in decal machine. Instead they are set up for you, and you can then adjust them to your liking. This enforces a consistent node layout, which in turn allows for material automation techniques, such as material matching. If you aren't familiar with the concept of material matching yet, you should check out the videos for the match material and the reapply tools. Now, this object here has some basic UVs and a few simple PBR materials. The materials are parameter based, meaning they consist only of the principled BSDF node, without any textures or other input nodes. And so one way to create a trim sheet material in decal machine is using the init trim sheet material tool, which you can find in the trim sheet panel in Blender's material properties editor. Select a material slot, then select a trim sheet and hit the init trim sheet material button. If the material in the chosen slot can be matched, a new trim sheet material will then replace it and should look identical. This is how the nodes of a trim sheet material look. All the sheets textures are brought in automatically and some of them have been connected to the trim sheet node group. I'm doing the same for the other materials now. For the empty slot, nothing will be matched, and so a plain gray trim sheet material is added. You can modify these materials as you like, just keep the general structure the same. You can change input parameters, or connect new nodes to the group's inputs. You can even replace the placeholder tiling normal node with a detail normal map, and it will properly mix with the sheet's normals. If you take a look at the UVs of the object now, you'll see how they've all been unwrapped to the empty trim of the example sheet now. That's why there aren't any of the sheet's details visible yet. So far we've used the init trim sheet material tool in object mode, but it works in edit mode as well. Its behavior is a bit different here. Instead of selecting a material slot, you make a face selection to tell decal machine which material should be matched and where the sheet material should be assigned. Unlike in object mode, the new trim sheet material will never replace the entire slot in edit mode. Only the current face selection will be affected. You can also see how the sheet material is not completely new. Decal machine will intelligently deduplicate these materials, which means it will try to reuse any existing fitting material if one can be found in the blend file. And this time it's even reusing the existing material slot of the fitting material, so no new sheet material is added to the stack. Finally, this object has some of its UVs adjusted to make use of the example trim sheet's details. But let's say you want to change the center part to a different material. You could of course just change the trim sheet material's parameters, maybe on a copy of the existing one. But maybe you want to build on your existing PBR materials. And so you can actually just assign such a parameter-based principled BSDF material again. If you then try to turn this into a trim sheet material again, all the previous detail will be lost. Because as mentioned in the beginning, all the material's faces have been unwrapped to the empty trim again. And so to avoid this, you can run the tool with the Alt key pressed. All the detail is back now, but with different material properties. I want to emphasize that matching materials like this only works if the target material is a simple parameter based principled BSDF material. But it also depends on the trim sheet itself. If your trim sheet has a color, metallic or roughness map, it won't be matched either. For the metal sheet for instance, which has all three of these maps, matching would be pointless anyway because you completely define its look via the texture maps. Setting up the trim sheet materials like this is just preparation of course. It's just a way to get these materials in the scene. You can then start using the trim UV tools to add details from the sheet. Once you have a trim sheet material set up that you want to reuse later, you can always just save it to your startup blend or some external blend file to append from it. And there's also another way to bring a trim sheet material into the scene. 
For convenience, the trim unwrap tool has very similar capabilities built in. But in it trim sheet material gives you more control, and it's a great way to block in your materials and then start detailing.